Hey, YouTube family and friends, this is Proverbs 31 Woman, and I wanted to go ahead and publish the sewing video for you. Um, right now, I'm going to be putting together some decorative cloth napkins. So just hang in there, and I'll show you how I put these together. Okay, so here's my average kitchen towel. Just wanted you to take a look at that. Nothing special about it. It is gridded out, but I won't really use the grids to cut. And this is one already pinned. I pinned it for precision cutting, so that way the towel doesn't shift. <laughs> and right there, I'm just cutting in between where I pinned the towel his <laughs> in half. I said he just that so he there's agrees. two halves. Okay, next I'm gonna fold it again. So now it's in fourths. And I'm just removing the pins, some of them. And I'm going to line it up so that I can cut it again to get it in fourths, okay? And I believe I pin it at this point. I'm just taking the pins out and repinning it just to kind of keep it uh, um, to where it is even. <laughs> All right, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just evening everything out before I make my cut. <laughs> she said he's a farmer. <laughs> Where you dad at? No worries if the towel is a little bit uh uneven. <laughs> if the towel is like just made irregular, uh just work with it or you could trim it back, whatever whatever works best for you. Okay, so now I have the towel pinned in fourths. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut right in between those pins to get nice uh, one-fourth sections of towel, of the towel. Okay, here I'm just removing the pins and I'm going to show you how neat the towels and how even and pretty much of equal size the towels turned out after making those pins to cut them. And those are my one fourth towels, just showing you. They came out pretty good. Now to start sewing. So I already stitched a monogram onto that piece of fabric, the blue and white fabric, and I'm just lining up the towel over top of that monogram. Once I get the towel centered, I'm gonna go ahead and pin the towel in place on the fabric so that I could trim the excess fabric from around the edges of the towel. And I'm just placing it here and making sure it's evened out and facing the right direction. Okay, here I have everything lined up. The blue side facing inward because I'm gonna flip it inside out. So that's the back of the monogram and that is the back side of the towel. And here we go with the cutting. Just makes it easier if it's pinned down and secured. And it takes less time because you already have a step done and it's ready to sew. All right, so that's the completely cut out rectangle for the napkin. And I'm just getting my machine ready so that I can make some quick stitches. And I'm just gonna go around in almost a square. I'm gonna, of course, leave a side open so that I can flip the napkin inside out. So I'm just gonna show you how I sew this. And this is the first initial sew to close this up. And 
and I actually really enjoyed this project. It was very fun. Okay, here I'm finished with the, as much sewing as I'm going to do on the inside of the, of the napkin. So I'm flipping it inside out, so that actually right side out, <laughs> so that you can see the monogram and it's upside down there. And I'm pulling the corners out and you can always snip the corners uh, to get them to be more uh, sharp. I did not do that but you can, and that's why I'm kind of like pulling them out right there. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you what it looks like, and it is still open at the bottom. I left enough room to flip it inside out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and make a stitch all the way around the outside of the napkin. And I'm just lining it up on my sewing machine. I think I did about maybe a fourth of an inch from the edge of the napkin or just under a fourth of an inch. Maybe, it might have been an eighth. And it just gives it a more, a clear, a clean appearance when you go around the outside of the napkin, in my opinion. Helps hold it together better. And when you close up the open piece, it's not as noticeable when you go around the whole cloth. Just makes it look neater. I had so much fun doing this project. I, I really enjoyed it. Blue and white are my favorite colors. Actually, blue is my favorite color, and I love blue and white. Okay, and I'm just finishing up here. And I'm just gonna clip off the threads, and bam, here we go. It's nice and flat. Look at that, baby. I don't know if I was trying, oh, I think I was showing it to my husband on that side. Okay, we have there's the blue ones because I made blue and I put the blue and white together, the two different fabrics. And I'm just showing that you can fold them in half and make regular napkins. Friends, thank you for watching my video. And please stop by episode four DIY on paper towels to see how I transform those napkins into unpaper towels. And thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe when you get the opportunity. And this is Proverbs 31 Woman Out. You all be blessed.